Hello, how can I help you? I have some stuff for you. A Steve Aoki Funko Pop doll and top cards. Well, Steve is known for throwing cake. That's his tr signature trademark. Did you bring some cake with you? Cake is with the Funko Pop doll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my autographed Steve Aoki Funko Pop doll and top cards. So I'm a huge Steve Aoki fan, and I've seen him in concert a bunch of times. And although these items are very important to me, I think because they're autographed, somebody else might appreciate them a little bit more. I am hoping to get $2,000 for my autographed Steve Aoki Funko Pop doll and Topps cards. OK, these are pretty cool. I mean, where did you get these? So me and a girlfriend actually went to a show, got some stuff, hoping that he would sign them. She was lucky enough to get him to sign them for us. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Steve Aoki is an award-winning DJ, record producer. He's owned his own label since the late 90s. He first came on the scene. He was remixing songs. Now he just is one of the top DJs out there, does huge festivals, and he's known mm. for his cake-throwing yes. routine. Yeah. And he has had a number of hits on the Billboard charts. Actually, in this top series of cards, it's a collab between Topps and Steve Aoki. He released four different waves of them. You can actually get cards in here that represent like some cake aspects on the card. And those are the rare cards that can be pretty valuable in the set. It seems to be autographed by him. Autographed, um, yes. It's not a hard signature to fake, but uh, he does do a very unique signature. And the Funko Pop, I mean, super collectible. Steve has done um, a couple of Funko Pops before. This is the most recent one he did. And Funko Pops are limited to a certain number. I'm not exactly sure how many this one was limited to, but they are very collectible because they're limited. If you don't collect Funko Pops, maybe you just collect Steve Aoki stuff or <laughs> DJ stuff, so you would yeah. get something like this. You have some pretty cool stuff here. How much are you looking to get for both of these here? Um, I was hoping to get around 2000 for both. OK, well, they are both autographed, and they both are um, something that was limited to a certain number. So you do have some good things going for you there. I would like to get the autograph authenticated, though, because his signature is going to hold some good value on these rare items like right. this. Do you think you can meet me at another location just down the street in about two hours? Yeah, I can do that. OK, meet me at the desk. I'll get you the address, and I will see you there in a two hours. Sounds good. So I have no issue with an expert taking a look at these items. I was there that night, so I know that the autograph is real. I have a surprise for you. You do? I do. I have someone coming down to um, authenticate these autographs. OK. <laughs> What's up, chump? Hey, how you doing? Good, man. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, for sure. Thank so. You Hi, how are you? I told you I had someone who could authenticate the autograph. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Amber um, brought these in to me, and this is what I called you on. I have a Funko Pop and some of your Topps cards. Oh, yeah, awesome. They're autographed by yeah. you, supposedly. So these are like your personal curated, yeah, uh, curated sports set. cards. Yeah, exactly. OK, yeah. pretty cool. So, so did you like? Um, pick out the artwork and everything for the cards? Yeah, yeah, so in this set, I, each set's different. I work with Topps, uh, but I work on the design. We start with the baseball. Um, we, I, I did soccer as well. I got into card collecting when I was a kid. I love to be, not just participant, but I like to be a creator in the industry. And I, you know, teamed up with Topps to help design cards. And, you know, I always want to make something that people love. So I got this Funk Pop here. I think this is your second one, right? Yeah. This is my second Funko Pop I did. This is the, the one that's more retail. This one's like pretty much in all the stores. Yeah, no, it's, it's really cool to see this sometimes. I'm like, oh my god, I'm a Funko Pop. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that signature? Does it look like you put it there? I mean, when I really look at the details, I know exactly where I start the pen. I always like sign a certain way. It's a good looking signature right there. <laughs> I mean, this one too. So these are authentically my signatures. All right, Steve. Well, I have one more favor from you. I okay. got you here. OK. You're known for doing the cake throw. <laughs> and I was hoping maybe you could give me a little advice. Uh, maybe just with like the pillow right oh. here. Yeah, you know? <laughs> you know what? This will work fine. Yeah, I mean, when, when you do a good cake throw, you want to make sure it's nice and level. So when the cake hits the person that wants it really, really badly, it just, it, you want it all over the place. But yeah, so anyways, let me, let me show you how to do it. I'm going to cake you, or all right. I'm going to pillow you. <laughs> so um, I kind of do a cock back, but it's like you want to keep it level, so it's more of a push. Push, boom. 
All right, let's. <laughs> I've been kicked. Right. I've been kicked. All right, let's, 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 let's see if I can do it. Let's see if you can do a good job. Whoa, that was good. Dude, awesome I'm... job, man. All right, well, thanks for coming out. And next time you're at a show here in Vegas, you'll see me in the front. I'm making the <laughs> cake for real. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. All right, appreciate okay. it. All Thank right. you. Cool. Thank you. All right, well, you got to meet uh, Steve Aoki for the second time. Very cool. So let's talk about what you're going to sell these to me for. OK. Realistically, maybe 700. I think if we could do eight, that would be good. Um, you know what? I think I could do 800. If my boss gets that mad at me, I'll just buy the cards <laughs> myself. Perfect. All okay. right, I'll meet you down at the pawn shop. It's just right down the street, okay. um, and I'll get you paid there. Awesome, thank you. Perfect, thank you. So the person that authenticated my items was Steve, and I knew he was going to recognize his signature. I actually got him to sign him here at a show in Vegas, so it was a piece of cake. Watch the master. Ooh, that was a far one. Pretty I think, good. I think I could beat that, though. You can't beat that. It's all in the flick of the wrist. I it's got it. It's not in the flick. It's in the push. You'll see right now. All right, well, let's make a little bet then. It's, what do you want to bet? Loser buys the winner chicken wings for lunch. Deep fried. I want mine deep fried. How else do you eat chicken wings? So, get your cake. Got get it. right here. Three, two, one, throw. Champion, fried wings on you the crossed line. You the line. I want hot sauce and blue cheese. What are you guys doing? Throwing cake. What are you doing? I heard there was cake out in the parking lot. Yeah, to throw. Who eats cake in the parking lot? Why in the world would you be throwing cakes? Because I just got a lesson from Steve Aoki, the cake master himself. Let me explain it to you. Steve Aoki, at his shows, he does cake throwing. And what happens is, if you're in the front of the crowd and you're real excited, at a point in the show, he throws a cake at you. And if you get the cake thrown on you, it's a blessing. So he gave me a lesson the other day when I went and got his autograph authenticated by him. So I thought it would be a good idea to get some cake. That's, that, that, that's crazy. Everyone wants to be caked at his shows. It's a but, badge of honor. Hold on. We have one cake left. Why don't you give it a try? All or right. a cake throw. I'll it give it a even, try. It even no, 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 no. A cake throw. I'm not going to throw away a good cake. Don't you think it'll be better if he throws it? No, I think it'll be better if I eat it. I think it's really, really silly. OK? So please come back to work and clean up all the cake. I guess I won the bet. Oh. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs>